Spartan Bowl is kind of like the heart because basketball has been so big here. We won in 72, we won in 83. This is a basketball town and it always has been. We take pride in Spartan Bowl. We take pride in our team and our coaches. I'm Sandy Snedeker Toshlog. I'm head coach of the Spartanet dance team. I was a Spartanet and a JV and varsity cheerleader while I was in school. Hi, I'm Sam Harvey. I'm uh, the radio voice of the Connorsville Spartan basketball, boys and girls basketball teams. And uh, starting my 33rd season, the history for me goes way back uh, to 1957. I was ring bearer in a wedding across the street at the Methodist Church, and uh, they were digging the big hole here for Spartan Bowl. The bride took me by, by her hand, and we walked over here and looked in the hole, uh, looked what became Spartan Bowl. This is something that has been passed down through the generations. It started from the onset of this being built. Uh, on radio, we've nicknamed it the Grand Palace on Grand. The excitement is contagious. People have come from out of town and watched and they're just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. The town is always ready for basketball. The best memories I have are getting to see some of the great players over the years. Our uh, Miss Basketball, April McDivitt, Matt Howard, who played on two national championship runner-up teams. This town supports our boys and girls basketball program, and it's, it's just uh, great to see that. Connorsville can be playing out of town, but you can expect 2,000 fans to be there. Great crowds, great tradition of pre-games that brings the Spartan Warrior out. We have cheerleaders and uh, Spartanettes that run out on the floor, and we do our thing to a song that we have. We have excitement in this bowl from the very first moment that the team steps on the court. It's very good entertainment. These kids work hard, all of them do, to bring it all together so that you're going to have a wonderful experience and when you leave, you'll leave with a smile on your face.